What is up everybody? So I know that geometry is a sore spot for so many students. So these are 10 questions you absolutely have to have down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT geometry. Okay, let's do it. Sometimes what we have to figure out is the area within part of a figure. So here's what we have. In the circle above, the radius of the smaller circle is four and the radius of the larger circle is six. What's the area of the shaded region in the figure above? So what's gonna happen here is we've gotta figure out the area of the big circle and the area of the small circle and what happens? If we take the big circle and subtract the small circle, we'll be left with the shaded area. So the area of any circle is pi r squared. So for the big circle, it's gonna be pi r squared, where r is what? Six, because it says the radius of the larger circle is six. So we do pi six squared, which is 36 pi. Then what we can do is the area of the smaller circle. For the smaller circle, the radius is four. So what do we do? Pi four squared, which is 16 pi. So we do 36 pi minus 16 pi, and that leaves us with our shaded region, which would be 20 pi, answer choice D. So remember, for this question, what do we do? We took the area of the bigger circle, took the area of the smaller circle, and we subtracted, and that left us with the shaded region. That's what will work for all questions like this. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT, and make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe, because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like yeah. love it. I think yeah. that's the one.